All aboard the party train. But the Caltrain is amazing. Up and down the San Francisco Bay Area Caltrain corridor, more than 12,000 riders celebrated a momentous milestone in September. Fully electrified service. It brings 100% renewable zero emission service from San Francisco to San Jose to the 160-year-old railroad corridor for the first time. It means a cleaner, greener future for all of the folks on the peninsula. It's a better way to serve our communities and it lays the groundwork for future high-speed rail. The authority invested $714 million in the electrification project, which will help bring high-speed rail infrastructure to the Bay Area. We have over 50 miles of electrified rail in California that's ready to go for us. It's exciting to see all that hard work, all of the effort come to fruition. The Caltrain and High Speed Rail Partnership is built on more than a decade of collaboration. Electrification is a giant leap forward in bringing the vision of a blended system into reality. Say about California, we'd love to say about San Francisco, the future happens here first. Passengers are already embracing the improvements to Caltrain's new service. The train's really nice, it's great, it's really smooth, it's very quiet. It includes Wi-Fi on board, electric outlets at every forward-facing seat, and more frequent and faster service. It's quicker, it's cleaner, um, quieter as well. And looking forward to the future, the Northern California section of the high-speed rail system will run from San Francisco south to San Jose and Gilroy, and then east connecting to service in the Central Valley through the Pacheco Pass. I'm very much looking forward to the SF to LA high-speed train. Yeah. I think that'll be great. We have friends and family who live in the in LA area. We don't get to see them that much, so I think it would really help us see them a lot more often.